Dattatreya Temple, Bhaktapur. Among Bhaktapur's renowned temples, the Dattatreya Temple holds a prominent position. Dattatreya is a deity that represents the combined essence of Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahadev. The story of Lord Dattatreya's birth is indeed fascinating. According to legend, Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu, and Lord Shiva, after listening to their respective wives, went to a hermitage of Sage Atri to test the chastity and virtue of his wife, Mata Onsia. They intended to ask her for alms in a manner that would be difficult for her to fulfill. When Sage Atri was not present, Mata Onsia transferred the three deities into babies and breastfed them, thus removing their doubts and demonstrating her unwavering devotion and purity. This act resulted in the birth of Lord Dattatreya, who embodies the combined divine aspects of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Indeed, in the story of Lord Dattatreya's birth, the three goddesses realized their mistake and sought forgiveness from Mata Anjaya. They then transformed the newborn babies, who were the incarnation of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, back into their divine forms. Pleased by Mata Anjaya's devotion, the three deities decided to give any boon, but she instead requested that they be born as her children. This unique and divine form, embodying the combined aspects of three Dev, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, came to be known as Lord Dattatreya. On the third tier of the Dattatreya temple, there is a statue of Mata Onsiya. In the Dattatreya temple, Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahishwar are worshipped as three Sakti, and special rituals are performed in the month of Shravan. Outside the temple, there is a massive trident symbolizing Lord Mahadev. Due to the popular belief that Lord Mahadev will manifest in the month of Shravan, married women in this month pray for the long life of their husbands and a happy future for their family, while unmarried women seek the blessing for finding a good life partner. In front of the Dattatreya temple, there is an image of Garuda symbolizing Vishnu on the huge pillar along with separate pillars displaying a conch and a chakra. The distinctive features of this pagoda-style temple is the widespread belief that it was constructed from a single colossal tree. There are statues of Jaimal and Pattu in front of the main entrance of this temple guarding as in the Netapola temple. They might represent the Rao Jaimal of Rathor, ruler of Badnur, and Patta of Kelwa, 16 years old defenders of Chittur against the Muslim invasion. The Dattatreya temple is believed to have been constructed by King Yaksha Malla, who ruled over the entire Nepal Valley from 1428 AD to 1482 AD. The temple's construction is dated to Nepal somewhat 590, which corresponds to the year 1470 AD. At its initial construction, the temple had only one story. It is highly probable that this temple served as a significant square for the royal families of Nepal during that time. During the reign of King Yakshamala, the idea to construct the Dattatreya temple and the associated monastery was inspired by the visit of the renowned Indian Vedic scholar and teacher Adi Sankaracharya to Nepal. Subsequently, King Yakshamala initiated the construction of the temple. It is believed that an Indian businessman named Gosai Guru Baksha Giri provided a significant financial support for temple's construction. Following his return from business in Tibet, Gosai Guru Baksha settled in Bhaktapur and played a key role in the establishment of a monastery where the priest of Dattatri temple could reside. The original establishment of this temple dates back to 15th century, when it was founded as a Sattal, which is a type of dharmasala or public rest house. The temple was made accessible to the public in 1486 AD following the death of King Yakshamalla. Subsequently, King Rayamalla, the son of King Yakshamalla, made improvements to the temple by adding additional stories in Nepal somewhat 615 or 1495 AD. The overhanging balcony of the temple which was established in 1548 AD is associated with King Vishwamalla. Initially, it was built as a resting place for Siva ascetic. However, it went under a transformation, likely during the reign of King Vishwamalla 1547-1560 AD or King Jitamitra Malla 1663-1696 AD to become a temple dedicated to the worship of Tatatriya. 
In 1769 AD, when King Prithvi Narayan Sah conquered both Kathmandu and Patan before Bhaktipur, it is believed that the kings of those kingdoms, King Jayaprakash Malla and Narsimha Malla, sought refuge in this temple. However, there is no concrete documentation that specifically mentions whether they hide in the Dattatreya temple or in the Bhaktipur palace complex. Nevertheless, it is confirmed that they were given shelter in Bhaktipur during that time. It is believed that erotic carvings is put in temples to test the devotion of the devotees. Some believe that the introduction of rampant erotic sculptures is due to the influence of Vajrayana philosophy. Vajrayana philosophy is also known as Tantrism. In it, everything is permitted, nothing is inadmissible. As Tantrism emphasized the worship of the feminine energy, definitely as a ritual, people could have erotic carvings. The erotic images might have been made as per the instruction of elite people such as rulers as a part of a luxury. Hindu temples were in great crisis of invasion from Muslims. It was thought that Muslims do not attack over if they find erotic figures. Another tale stands telling that during the time of Sankaracharya, when Buddhism was massively increasing, when there was a competition to be monks and nuns, to motivate people with life, to orient people towards reproduction, erotic carvings were made reminding people of their duties. It was a kind of sublime way to fight against Buddhism. Some says that it was carved to give education about sex to the people, while some says it was carved there to make people desire sex. Similarly, it is said that during ancient times, when there was only war and war and the number of soldiers was diminishing, the need of extra population plus soldiers might have made the erotic carvings existence. Thank you.